and the rain causing special concern for those San Diegans still dealing with the aftermath of the January flooding. Our Christelle Kumoy was in South Crest today where people say they're hoping for the best. Eddie Mejivar has lived in his South Crest home since 2007, but he says one day in particular will forever be engraved in his mind. I've never seen that kind of disaster before. January 22nd. That was a traumatic day. He says his family had to literally swim to safety as the historic rainfall flooded the streets and his home. The only thing you can see on my property is the shelf. Inside is totally gone. Mejivar says while there was only a small chance of rain today, he says the little bit they got for about 10 minutes flooded parts of the road. This is the problem every time when this rain. This is like a 3, 5% today. What about it when this is a 10, 15, 20%? This is bad all the time. That's why with more rain in the forecast, regardless of the chances, he has prepared by lining his property with sandbags. If I say, okay, nothing happened today. They say 5%. And what about the B, 100%? Mm. Last, the only shelf I have it. He says city crews has come to clean up at times, but not nearly as often as he deems necessary. You try to clean one day before the rain, try to clean problem from the years ago, that's impossible. Yeah. That had to be frequently. A week, probably one or, or twice a week, you know. Until then, Mejivar says he'll prepare the best way he can with these sandbags. I'm on my own. I'm on my own. In South Crest, I'm Cristal Kumway.